I went to the Kill Team event and I picked up Gaunt's Ghosts. So let's have a look at it. So the set costs £25 and consists of six infantry models. Let's open them up and have a good look. We get six infantry models. We've got Commissar Ibram Gaunt, and again you can recognise these from when they were originally released a number of years ago. So the interesting thing is we've also got the cards. So very importantly these are marked for open and narrative play only. So we've got Ibram Gaunt, we've got Colm Corbeck, uh, we've got Doc Dorden, we've got Bryn Milo, Mad Larkin and Trooper McTain. That's McTain, that's Mad Larkin, uh, this is Bryn Milo, I think, with his pipes. That's Doc Dorden, Ibram Gaunt, and Colm Corbeck. So these are quite nice casts. You can see they've got the different pattern las gun on a couple of them. Much plainer style of las gun. You've got one guy with a plasma gun, which is always handy to have. You've got a sniper, which is what Tanith are really all about. Uh, you've got a medic. And you've got Gorn. Is this a complete kill team? Um, together, it's 132 points. But you've got to bear in mind that Gorn is a commander costing 50 points for a level 3 commander. Uh, he's also got some additional equipment. So he's got a slightly better power sword than normal, he's got a refractor field, um, he's got a symbol of courage. So he's got plenty of commander equipment to push his points cost up. So I'm now going to move the miniatures out of the way and we're going to have a good look at the cards. So Ibram Gaunt is a commander. So the new commander supplement will fill the details in for this. Um, with in terms of the equipment so he's got very good stats four wounds three attacks move six two plus two plus on weapon skill ballistic skill he's got a bolt pistol he's got a slightly better than normal power sword he's got refractor field symbol of courage or of commander heroic and he's got specialism leadership commander level three so that's probably going to be enough to put him at 50 points Next up we've got Colm Corbeck, who is the normal sergeant, so he's got leader level 4 um, and some additional abilities. He's got a straight silver blade which is like a combat blade for Tanith, gives them an extra attack, he's got a las gun, but otherwise he's got sergeant stats. You've got Doc Dorden. who has a LAS pistol, um, some medic level abilities, um, but otherwise is a fairly normal guardsman with one wound. You've got Bryn Milo, who again has a straight silver blade, which is basically a combat blade, and he's a comms level 4 specialist. So that's where the additional 16 points in his stats comes from with plus one point for the Silver Blade. You've then got Mad Larkin, who is a specialist gunner with sniper level four skill. He's got a sniper rifle, which is a standard one, and again, a combat blade. And then you've finally got Trooper McTain, who is a plasma gunner. Um, yep, yeah, 8 point plasma gunner, again with the combat blade, but otherwise a standard Imperial Guard plasma gunner. So without Gaunt, the models are 82 for 5 models. 
However, that's basically because of the levels of specialists that they get bought. If you were going to put together a Tanith army for Kill Team, you're going to want probably at least another half dozen to ten uh, guard models, some standard guys and some more gunners. And then you can take all the specialists as normal level one specialists for much, much cheaper. However, when I was at GW, I asked about picking up some Tanith infantry and was told that they're not for sale. So you'd be looking at third party manufacturers, any Tanith you've already got, um, or conversions. I've seen people do things with Glade Guard and Imperial Guard mixing the bodies up. But in game terms, it is an open and narrative player force only. If you want to take it to matched play, you're going to be taking them as normal level 1 specialists and looking to fill the team up with models. If you want to play um, Gaunt's Heroes, then it gives you everything you want. Six very nice metal casts. A um, bit of flash on them as you can see. So they do need a clean up, but they are some very nice metal sculpts from a little while ago and I think we forget just how many interesting different guard regiments Games Workshop were turning out at one point so I like them um, but they're going off to our friends at the 40k Badcast um, because I cannot get into yet another um, kill team where I'm going to need to hunt down third party models or rare models or things like that. So the other kill time I picked up at the Weekender is the one that I'm going to keep and the one that I'm going to paint up. Hope you liked this video. Hope you found it interesting. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe. Um, and to everybody out there, good gaming.